Welcome to the next episode of the Explain series of the host, Dr. Brett Palmer. And today we're going to be talking uh, to shave or not to shave. It's all about pubic hair. Um, so what's the deal? Is pubic hair good for you? Uh, should you keep it? Well, one thing I've noticed as a sexual health doctor, there's a certainly an age difference. If the patients are under 35, both male or female, then usually uh, shaved or heavily trimmed. If they're over the age of 35, there's usually some kind of uh, bush there. Why does the younger generation uh, shave? Um, it's because, uh, to be honest with you, it's because of pornography. And I think they see uh, far too much uh, on social media and um, other uh, internet sites, which uh, not necessarily are social media, um, pornography sites, which seem to dictate a lot of behaviour, um, which uh, that's now been normalised. Uh, you have to remember, um, shaving your pubic hair isn't actually normal. It's uh, very unnatural. And I know uh, YouTube is effectively an American uh, website owned by Google, an American web company, and lots of uh, Americans uh, watch videos. And a lot of you will be wanting and itching, if not already commenting, um, uh, that I am not don't know what I'm talking about. Uh, but in uh, American culture, there is so much pressure especially on females to be completely uh, naked uh, of hair around the uh, pubic area uh, that I think is probably um, a little bit unhealthy and I think this also comes down to the this continued sexualization of the younger generation um, which is probably why rates of paedophilia are probably higher uh, or seem to be higher uh, in the West than in uh, other countries because of this constant sexualization of uh, young individuals. Um, so what do I think about uh, pubic hair? Well, actually it's your choice. It doesn't matter if you're male or female, it's your hair, you do what, what you want with it, it's your body. Um, is pubic hair dirty? No, it's not. If anything, it's the other way around. And the reason if pubic hair is dirty is because it hasn't been washed. And so you just use an emollient and just wash it as you would all you know, your genitals anyway. Um, pubic hair actually helps keep the rest of your genitals clean. It also helps as a barrier uh, to stopping uh, certain infections. So if you've got um, a sore or a wart on the skin, um, but you've got a, a big bush of hair, um, it's not going to necessarily get to the other person's skin. Uh, and so it is, so it is a protective factor. Uh, another thing about it is it stops a lot of uh, sweat and debris coming down and pooling around uh, the genitals. This is especially important for women. All this body hair is actually natural. It's just a sign that you're not a little girl anymore and you're, you're a woman, or you're not a little boy anymore and that you're an actual man. So there's constant shaving all body hair to try to uh, fit uh, some kind of cultural ideal is a little bit uh, peculiar, to be honest with you. Uh, for those of you who say, well, I don't um, shave, I prefer to wax. You shouldn't use numbing cream because if you're if you burn yourself or you hurt yourself, you need to know about it so you stop um, injuring yourself. So uh, the pain pathway is very, very important here. Um, uh, and if you don't like the pain, then don't do it. That's, what's the, that's what nature is telling you. Don't do it if it's hurting too much. Um, if you are going to a professional to have your um, uh, waxed or sugared, uh, then make sure that it's a, a brand new applicator and it's not, being, it hasn't, uh, it's not just sitting there just being applied to every individual that comes across otherwise you will pick up an infection. Uh, there are other techniques called lasering. L lasering doesn't stop, uh, it's not permanent um, and there's obviously there's problems with um, lasering as well in terms of causing uh, burns or skin damage. Um, in my personal opinion don't do any of it. Uh, if you want to uh, j just trim safely at home, if you are going to shave, uh, use a lubricant like shaving foam. That's what it's there for, does it, so it doesn't cause uh, too much damage to the skin. Uh, don't use soap when you wash. Uh, just use um, uh, water or an emollient. Um, oh yeah, and uh, pregnant uh, women for some reason have uh, think they also need to shave before they give birth. No, you don't. You know, uh, there's um, eight billion people on this planet, and there's um, and humans have been around for hundreds of thousands of years. Shaving your pubic hair has only been around for a few decades. So, um, and that's due to the porn industry. So you can actually see what's 
going on, if you know what I mean. Uh, so no mammal shaves before they uh, give birth, and humans, being a mammal, uh, are exactly the same. So you don't need to shave uh, before you give birth. And uh, do you need to, for women and for men, do you need to shave before a urological or um, um, an obstetric or a gynecological operation? Uh, no, you don't. Um, if you do need to have your hair shaved, either they will tell you uh, on the morning of the operation or they will do it on the operating theatre. Okay, um, that's about it. So pubic hair is good, yay, and uh, uh, you don't need to cut it off, uh, but you can trim it if you want to. That's uh, the most healthiest thing you can do. I'll see you in the next episode. Take care. Bye-bye.